Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. In this video, we'll be testing rounds I reloaded using Hornady's 75 grain boat tail hollow point bullets with accurate 2495 powder. That's an extruded powder and extruded powders have worked well for me in the past with other weights of bullets. I have not tested it with the 75 grain. We have powder charges ranging from 20 grains of powder to 21.8 grains of powder producing velocities of 2,400 feet per second to 2,600 feet per second. So you are welcome to uh, fast forward to the results if you like, or you can watch me fast forward through my shooting and enjoy the music. All right, so let's bring it in and take a look. Okay, I do believe this group is below a half an inch. Oddly, though, the group right above it was shot with the same charge of 20.9 grains of powder, but it shot to the left, whereas the one below it, I could cover that with my thumbnail and it's right at the aiming point, which was the bottom of that circle. Uh, this one grouped pretty well, but it was shooting to the right, so I made a side adjustment. I moved it two clicks to the left, and then I didn't make any other adjustments for the rest of the targets. Anyway, we'll take these home, measure them, and see how they compare. Here are my results from the range where I was shooting a Ruger American 223 rifle shooting a 75 grain Hornady boat tail hollow point bullet and I was using accurate 2495 powder and I had charge weights ranging from 20 grains of powder to 21.8 which is the maximum load for that particular cartridge and bullet. So what I did is I shot two five shot groups of each load and I had velocities ranging from 2400 to 2600 feet per second. That's according to the numbers in the Hornady manual. So my first group, my coal barrel shot was actually uh, my one of my better groups of the day, the second best group of the day. I had a group of 0.5 inches and my best 4 out of 5 was 0.32, but it was shooting to the right. My aiming point is the bottom edge of this circle, so it was shooting pretty close to where I was aiming except for an adjustment to the right. So I adjusted the scope two clicks to the left. I don't know if that had a bearing on the second grouping or not, 
But in any event, I had two flyers on that group. It didn't move the shots to the left. I had three clustered together here, then a flyer here, and a flyer here. So that overall group was 1.74 inches. Not good at all. It always blows my mind that I can shoot two groups at the same charge weight and have such different results. So I have a 0.5 here and a 1 and 3 quarter here. But it could be a difference in the cases. Maybe something in the powder charge. I don't know. Maybe the tension on the bullet. Who knows? Okay, on the second group, I was shooting 20 and a half grains of powder, and I had groups of 1.41 and 0.97, with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.99 and 0.63. Not great here. <clears throat> I like getting under an inch, and that best 4 out of 5 looks pretty good right there. At 20.9 grains of powder, I had my first group with an extreme spread of 0.73 inches, and the best 4 out of 5 at 6.0. And then on the second group, I was really pleased here because you can cover that with your pinky. This group was 0.37 inches, and the best 4 out of 5 was 0.33 inches. So here's a load that I probably would want to develop a little bit further in here. Maybe load a grain or two on either side of that. See if I can zero in on a node there. At 21.4 grains, we shot overall group sizes of 93 and 111, with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.36 and 0.75. And then at 21.8 grains, they started to open up again, and we had overall group sizes of 0.93 and 113. Best 4 out of 5 at 0.82 and 0.65. If you average these, because these two targets are the same load. So if you average those, so you're averaging 10 shots at 20 grains, we had an extreme spread average of 1.12, best 4 out of 5 at 8.2. At 20 and a half grains, not any better. Best, uh, the extreme spread was 1.19, the best 4 out of 5 is 0.81. Here at 20.9 is where we started to zero down on the node. We had an average extreme spread of 0.55 and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.7 inches. Opened up again as we increased the load. So at 21.4 grains, we had an average extreme spread of 102 and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.56. And that's due to this 0.36 best 4 out of 5 here that helped pull that average way down. At 21.8, we had extreme spreads of 0.93 and 1.13, so that averaged 103 with a best 4 out of 5 at 8.2 and 6.5, averaging 0.74. So the takeaway from this is if I'm going to zero in on a particular load here, it's going to be this 20.9. So I may load some more of these, maybe a grain or two either side of that 20.9 number. But the 20 grains also shot really well, too. It's just weird that the, the second group and then the next target and the next target, those just didn't shoot well at all. I don't know if that was just pure luck or, or what here. But anyway, those are my results. So if there's anything to take away from here, the 20.9 grains of accurate 2495 powder shot really well with the Hornady 75 grain boat tail hollow point in my 223. These were all shot at 100 yards, by the way. So anyway, I really appreciate your watching. If you have a comment or an idea that you'd like to share, please leave that below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks again.